Dr. Beth here, and I'm going to give you the bare minimum you need to post on a Padlet wall. You've been given a link, which you enter into the address bar. Click on the link, and the link will take you to the Padlet page. On the Padlet page, you will see a little pink dot. And as long as you see the little pink dot, everything's good. You can use that and it tells you double click anywhere, drag files, or click here to post. Just so you can do it a number of ways. If I wanted to um, drag a file here, well, let me just open a file. I want to, I'll, if I click on that, I'll get a little window that tells me I can put something in. So I'm going to put an example of lesson module for learning plan. And then you have icons here. I'm going to insert a file. So it says add an attachment. Of course you do choose a file. You can also take a photo from your webcam if you want to do a screenshot. I've not tried that. You can also try that. So I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to choose my example lesson four. I'm going to open it. It's going to load it up. It's going to ask me if it looks okay. And I'm going to say, yes, it looks great. You can also drag and drop. If I wanted to drag and drop and I wanted to put a photograph, I'm looking for my photo imports right here. And I want to just drop a photo here. You'll see it loading up on the bottom there. And as soon as it's loaded up, it will show up on the wall as a posting. So there are a couple different ways that you can add material to this wall. You can add pictures, you can add comments. Anybody who's posted, you can say, oh, that's a beautiful picture of mountains and clouds. Or you can say, gee, that's an interesting lesson. So this is a place for you to comment on each other's work. So those are the two quick and dirty ways to get postings onto Padlet. There's a lot more. I suggest you play around with it. I'm also going to show you how you can take a photo. You can add a photo with the webcam. You can take a photo from your webcam. Asks you to use, in my case, FaceTime camera. I'm holding up verb forms for B. I'm going to ask it to capture. Let's see if I can get this straight. I'm not sure if this is just practice. And then once you've captured, you say it looks okay. And there's going to be my poster for verb forms to be. Finally, I want to take you through one more level of posting. If you're going to post your own material and not post something that's already been made, but you're going to post on Padlet and write it in there. So you're going to make a new window. You're going to, in this case, write what it's going to be. Voices in the park. And it can be anything you're writing. I'm writing an annotated biblio... <laughs> My fingers are A P H Y bibliography. And then I'm going to type some more stuff about this particular trade book. And then I want a picture of the trade book cover. Now, if you do this, if you go to Google and you copy the image and then you go back to the Padlet and you, you have to, oops, sorry, you have to edit. So it's already in edit mode. If I just pasted that, what happens when it closes? This is a Google thing. So that's not going to work because it, it'll spread out and you want to get rid of it. So I'm going to remove it. And instead what I did is I took the document and I actually saved it as a picture on, uh, in my, in my pictures, in my, in my, in my pictures file as a picture file. So I'm going to choose, go to that file and I saved it as a PNG and I'm going to open it and it's going to upload it just like it did with the document. So 
Does it look good? Yes, it looks good. And so, and then I have, I have my, my picture. And so the, now you can see that it doesn't spread all over the, over the page. And so you want to do is you want to save whatever photo you've got as a picture, as a PNG onto your desktop. And then from there, copy it over from your pictures file to, to add a picture to something that you've, some text you've put in. So with that, I think I've given you four different ways to post on Padlet. This should get you started. Give it a try. Experiment with it. There's a lot of other things you can do. So there are a lot of different ways to get material onto Padlet. You can also do links to websites, links to audio recordings, and so forth. So play around with it, but those are the, the easy ways to do it. Uh, have fun.